Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this pattern in Photoshop. First off, let's go ahead and create a new document. So I'm going to click on New File. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color, background content set to transparent, and we'll go ahead and click to create our document. A lot of times when I design in Photoshop, I like to start with a grid layout. So let's go ahead and go to View, Guide, New Guide Layout. For this, I'm going to use four columns and four rows. I'll go ahead and click on Create. For this pattern, we are going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to right click here and just um, access the pen tool. The keyboard shortcut is P. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a point here. And then we're just going to draw out a couple points here. We'll select one here in the middle, I'm moving over to the side here, and then we'll click one more point here. And uh, right now it has a fill, so we'll go ahead and click on fill and we'll go no fill. And then we'll add a stroke, so we'll go to black. And then I'm going to change that to 40 pixels here. And so we have this kind of step um, shape here. And then I'm going to go right click under the pen tool and then we are going to go to the curvature pen tool. And so on this point here, I'm going to double click and it's going to change it to a curve. And then we'll do the same thing here, double click, and it will change to a curve. So we have this kind of S shape curve here. Accessing the move tool, I'm going to duplicate this and we are going to move it to each of the corners here. So I'm going to go command or control J to duplicate it. And then we are going to go ahead and move it to this corner here, command or control T. And then up here, since the uh, dimensions of my canvas are 1200 by 1200, this will be, we're going to enter 1200 in X, and then Y, we are going to be 0, and then I'm just going to hit OK there. And then we'll start at this original shape. Let's go ahead and duplicate it again, Command or Control J, and then we'll go Command or Control T, and then we're going to bring it to this bottom corner here. So for X, that would be 0, for Y, that would be 1200 pixels. And so we have the start of our curve here. And so I'm going to select all three of these layers, shift click, and then I'm just going to convert this to a smart object. So I'm gonna go right click, convert to smart object. That just makes it easier to uh, duplicate and move. So we have uh, some of our pattern up here, which means we need to boot and move it down. So I'm gonna duplicate this again, command or control J. And then we'll do that free transform, command or control T and then we are going to move it down. So I'm just gonna to go to my X value here. I'm gonna click in and then I'm gonna add the plus key and then we'll just go 1200 pixels because that's the size of our canvas. And we'll go uh, accept that there. And then we'll go to uh, this shape tool here, command or control J to duplicate it. And then this time I'm gonna send it over this way. So we'll go command or control T. And then I'm going to, uh, instead of the Y value, I'm going to do the X value. And then uh, this time we are going to minus, minus 1200 pixels here. We'll select OK. And so we have it repeating there, and then we have it repeating there as well. So uh, let's go ahead and define this as a pattern. To do that, you're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. You can give your pattern a name and then just click on OK. Here we can see our newly created pattern in our Patterns panel. If you do not see yours, go to Window and select Patterns here. So let's go ahead and test out this pattern in a new document. So I'm going to go File, New. After this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, which is standard for digital scrapbook paper. So we'll go ahead and click to create that. And then for this, I'm going to use one of my actions. It's called Pattern Test, um, and I will leave a link to these actions in the uh, description below. Basically, it creates a, um, a pattern fill layer um, with a background color fill layer and a, a top color fill layer to change out the color of our pattern. And to create these adjustment layers, you'll just go to Solid Color and to the Pattern one here. So we'll click on that pattern fill layer and we'll select our newly created pattern. And here we see this fun wave pattern here. Uh, but let's go ahead and take it one step further. Let's jump back into our document here. So I'm just going to click on all three of these layers. I'm going to group them together, Commander Control G. 
And then let's just um, turn off the visibility for a moment. We'll select a new layer here. I'm just going to click that new pattern. And then I'm going to right click and I'm just going to rasterize this layer. And that just allows us to manipulate it better. So I'm just going to uh, rotate this. Uh, so I'm just going to rotate this layer. So let's go Command or Control T. We will rotate it 90 degrees. That way we get it uh, facing the opposite direction here. And then we'll turn back on that original layer. And then let's go ahead and define this as a pattern. So another way to define a pattern, if you have your patterns panel open, is to just hit this plus key here. And it will um, define that pattern. And we see it here in our patterns panel. So let's just jump back into our um, document here. We'll select our new pattern. And here we have our uh, fun shape pattern here. If you double click on this pattern fill layer, you can always scale it down. So maybe we try 75% or even smaller, 50% to see more of that repeat there. And then with these color fill layers, you can easily change um, out the color. Let's try changing the background here. I'll just select uh, one of my swatches here. We'll try a teal. And then for this uh, top one, maybe we make it white. Uh, maybe we select a lighter blue to kind of give it more of a two-tone effect there. Um, and so we have our pattern here. And then if you want to uh, export this as digital scrapbook paper, just go to File, Export, Export As. And then under File Settings, you want to make sure it's set to JPEG. And then uh, scrolling down, I just like to uh, make sure Embed Color Profile is selected. And then you can just click to export your pattern. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.